everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am coming to you with swatches of some of the ColourPop Press shadows as well as a quick tutorial on the look that I am wearing right now. This is what I have and I've got these four sectioned off right here because these are actually what came in the high maintenance palette which they came in this container right here. Um, I don't really like this container very much. It's really thick. It's kind of bulky. I'd rather just put them in a Z palette, which is what I've done here. I really like the fact that, first of all, for the um, for the eyeshadow palette, the the pan the palette itself, they've got all of these colors available as singles as well if you want to buy them that way. And so I think that's really awesome that they did that so that you're not tied to just buying a palette. If there are certain colors that you don't like, you don't have to buy them. You can buy them as singles. Um, these sell for five dollars a piece. They're really, really awesome. I really enjoyed working with them. I have worn them before um, because I received this palette before I got my pan shadows and they're really, really nice quality. I want to kind of walk you through what I think about them. I'm going to swatch them as well and then we can uh, go to the tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. These shadows are very, very pigmented. They're really, really nice. Um, they're very soft, they're very buttery, but I will say that they do kick up a lot of powder. As you can see, um, and maybe you can tell or not, but right here, like for instance, this one here, which is Cute Alert, I think is what it's called, um, you can tell that there's a lot of powder kind of sitting on it. Uh, and that happens more with the matte colors and it's happening with the, um, with the metallics or the shimmers that they have. Uh, it's, it's not a bad thing to me. I mean, it just means that I have to be careful and, you know, just knock off the excess. Same thing happens with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Singles Eyeshadows. So for me, that's not an issue. So if you're really, really rough on your eyeshadows, you know, you kind of just pound your brush into them. Just know that that's going to happen. Um, and for me, I tend to not be quite that rough with my shadows and it still happens and it's okay. It's not a big deal to me. I don't necessarily judge an eyeshadow because of that. The colors, they're very, very pigmented. I will say that. I mean, they pack a big color punch when you put them on. Um, so it does, it would be a good thing for you to go ahead and knock some of the excess off of the brush anytime you use these because you are going to get a lot of pigmentation. They are very blendable. The color selection that they have is really, really great. I have a lot of mattes. That's what I am gravitating more towards with these shadows. Um, so I've got a shit ton of mattes. I've only really worked with the high maintenance palette other than the shadows that I used for this particular look that I've got on today, but they are absolutely beautiful shadows. They sell for $5 a piece. They've got some tones that are very, very similar to each other, but the approach that they've taken and, and what I really appreciate about ColourPop is that they've given you options. It's almost like they've given you a warm, a neutral, and a cool option in some of the tones that they carry in these shadows. So that's really cool because not everybody likes warm tones, not everybody likes cool tones. Some people like to stay in the middle, some people like to get all three. You know, you have a lot of options available to you with the ColourPop press shadows. So super excited that they have finally come out with press shadows. I love their Super Shock shadows. I think they're really, really great. They're really a fabulous, awesome product. Um, but you know, to have press shadows, that's amazing to me. So I'm super happy about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the swatches now. I'm, I'm not the best at swatching. Um, so you'll have to forgive me if it's not so smooth, if it's not so great, but yeah, I'm going to try my best. And again, I did not receive these. I bought these myself, so I don't have the entire collection. I only have those colors that I really thought I would enjoy wearing. The first color that I'm going to swatch for you is called Hear Me Out. It's just a simple, you know, plain cream colored shadow. And you see how pigmented it is even for a cream color it's got a lot of pigmentation the next color that i'm gonna swatch for you is wake up call which to me this one is just i i am just excited to try it i didn't use it today but it is kind of like a mid-tone brown and they're like like i said it's like super super pigmented the third color that i have um is called made to last and it is a slightly deeper brown it does have i think i would say it has kind of a little bit of a pinky undertone this color i actually do have in the uh as a transition in this eye look 
that's it right there. So as you can see, it's got a little bit of a mauve -y tone to it. I mean, it's just, it's a little bit on the cooler side, but it is super, super pretty. I really love it. The next one is one that I didn't try today, but because I didn't want to go too, too warm today. I've been doing a lot of warm looks lately, and so I kind of wanted to tone that down a touch, but this color here is so pretty, and it is wait for it. And it is kind of like a, it's an orange, it's an orange, but it's kind of salmon-y to me. I can't wait to use it. <laughs> I cannot wait to use this color. I'm just gonna be honest. That's it right there, and oh my God. That is gonna be so pretty as a transition color. I mean, it is just, yeah, ah. Uh, and I'm showing you all the mattes first, and then I'm gonna go to the shimmers, and then I'm gonna go to the, to the colors in the high maintenance palette. This color here um, cracks me up because of the name. It says Stay Golden, but it is definitely kind of like a berry shade. Oh, wow. Oh, I cannot wait. Cannot wait to play with that one. Definitely, definitely has a really strong red punch to it. The next one that I have is um, Popular Demand, and it is this color right here, and it reminds me of Coco Bear. I have this one in the deeper part of my crease today, and uh, when I put it on, I immediately thought of Coco Bear. And there's a swatch right there. So it's definitely got that orangey terracotta kind of warmth to it. It also kind of reminds me a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills Red Earth. I decided to branch out with this next one uh, because I don't have a color like this and everybody talks about this color and how beautiful it is to wear. Uh, it is Paper Tiger and it is a mustardy kind of yellow color. And I don't have a color like this in my collection. I don't think. I might have one from Makeup Geek. I am excited to try this because, like I said, everybody goes on and on and on about this type of color. And it scares me a little bit, but you know what? I can do this. And here is what it looks like. And I can see, yeah, I can totally see how that would be a beautiful color in the transition. Because, I mean, it would help to kind of balance out any kind of warm look that you have if you don't want to take it orange you know if you don't want to go in that direction but you still want to keep it warm um, this is definitely a nice color to do that with and these are all of the matte shadows for ColourPop those are all of the mattes that I have that are not in the high maintenance palette Okay, so the next uh, three that I'm gonna have for you are their shimmers. And the first one is Come and Get It. And it is a beautiful kind of like rose gold shimmer. I'm wearing this on my lid today. It is so pretty. It is a beautiful, beautiful color. Now, the one thing I will say is that the, um, the shimmers or the metallics, um, these don't have a lot of that um, powder kick up like the mattes do. So this is what that color looks like. There you have it. It's just a really pretty pink with gold duochrome. It's I would say it's almost like a duochrome because you can kind of, you know, see how it shifts. It went on super easily on my lids. And if you wanted to make it a little bit, you know, you wanted to bump it up a little bit it, with some Fix Plus, this is probably going to be super, super pretty. The next color that I have is called You Know the Drill. And it is more of a gold color. It is, I would say, kind of like a medium gold. And that's it right there. So pretty. Look at that. That is really nice. And this one is not a duochrome. This one is just a straight up. I would say it's like a medium gold. I wouldn't say it's a bright gold. It's not a dark gold. It's somewhere in the middle. This next color is actually a promotional color that they had out. Um, this is because they hit 1 million on Facebook. When you bought the pressed shadows, I don't remember if you had like a minimum purchase or whatever, but you got a code to buy this color and this is called Millie. So I don't know that this is available anymore. I will check the website and let you know in the dis uh, description bar down below. I don't doubt that they will get something out that's very similar to this because that just tends to be the ColourPop way. Okay, 
and that's it right there so pretty it's just a beautiful beautiful copper color and I cannot wait to wear that that is just beautiful okay so starting with the lightest color in the high maintenance palette and this is called just in time and this I would classify as kind of a bright gold color that's it right there it's really really pretty would look really good in the uh, kind of like on the inner corner and it's just a really really pretty bright gold color the next one in the palette is called High Strung, and this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a deeper bronze, kind of, I think. It, it definitely has a bronze feel to me, but it's got maybe a little bit of, I don't know, almost like a little bit of rosiness to it. And it reminds me almost of a foiled shadow, especially that I now that I've got it on my finger it very much reminds me of Makeup Geek's Grandstand especially the way it feels uh, in the pan when I put my finger in it and you can see right there how shimmery it is but that's also it right here it definitely has some Grandstand kind of vibes to me and Grandstand is one of my all-time favorite Makeup Geek shadows yeah, I think next time I'm in I put this on my eyes I'm gonna use my finger because definitely with a brush, it does not have the kind of foiled punch that it has when I apply it with my finger. Okay, the next color that I'm going to show you from the High Maintenance palette is called Get Out. Reminds me of the Amityville Horror movie. And that's it right there. It's kind of like a deep, it's, it's very much like a cranberry kind of color. Um, and uh, it goes on really pretty though. I would say it's a little bit more pink toned but it is super super pretty very very pretty kind of berry type color it does have a little bit of orange in it and that's kind of cool because when you wear this type of color and you decide if you decide that you want to kind of blend it out in the crease you know say for instance you put it down in the in the deep crease and then kind of start blending it up it's going to take on a little bit of orange tone which is really interesting i don't have any matte shadows that do that you know that come off as being a berry but have kind of like a warm orange undertone so that is really super cool i can't wait to start experimenting with that color it would make for a really pretty kind of like a sunset eye i think the last color that i have um, from the uh, high maintenance is called cute alert and as i mentioned i've got cute alert actually i don't mean to flick you off i've got cute alert on the outer corner of my eye it's kind of like a deep plummy kind of brown as you can see there and let me just put it right there and it is like super super pigmented look at that yeah that's it right there and it's just so soft it is really super super soft and really really pretty and it blends out beautifully as you can tell right there don't judge the shadow by my by my swatch the swatch is patchy because of me not because of the shadow um just really really very very pretty quad of colors and that's the high maintenance palette those are my thoughts on the ColourPop pressed shadows. Um, next comes the tutorial. So if you are interested in seeing how I came up with this look, then keep on watching. Just know that in the tutorial, I already have my foundation, brows, primer. I, my face is pretty much completely done. And then I start working on the eyes. I will have everything that I am wearing in the description bar below. I will be talking again a little bit at the end. So um, this is not goodbye. <laughs> I'll be talking with you again. And now on to the tutorial. All right, so I start out with putting popular demand in the crease. And I'm just floored by how pigmented these shadows are. I mean, look at that. That was just a tiny tap in the pan and I get all kinds of color payoff. And so I'm putting that in the crease just to lay that down and define the crease. Then I go in with Made to Last as my transition color. I wanted to take that color and kind of cool the popular demand down just a touch and adding that in as a transition color. And I just love the way these shadows blend. They blend so easily. Then going in with Hear Me Out on the brow bone and again look at that pigmentation. I mean that is the 
brightest cream brow bone color I own. And then taking that and blending it in with Made to Last just so that it could be nice, soft, and seamless. And then I'm going in with Come and Get It on the lid, and that is that um, the shimmery pink gold shadow. And uh, it went on so smoothly and so beautifully. I mean, these this is just a beautiful color. And then doing a little bit of blending. Next, I'm going in with Cute Alert in the outer V. And uh, I'm putting this on kind of at a slant. I'm not just dropping it into the crease. I'm actually working it in an, at an angle. And that's because I wanted kind of like a really blown out diffused cat eye look. Um, and I end up doing the inverted seven. And I just really like the way that that turned out. It really did a great job of deepening the crease. And then just adding a little bit of color and then blending all of that out with a clean uh, blender brush. I believe this is my Charlotte Tilbury blender brush. Adding a little bit more of the Cute Alert because I lost it in the blending. And then adding more of the Come and Get It to the lid just to intensify that just a bit. And also to blend in the Cute Alert. Next I'm going in on the lower lid with Popular Demand on an angled liner brush and connecting the outer corner. And then after that I go in with Cute Alert just to add a little bit more dimension. And then I blend it out with a Morphe um, smudger brush. So I've applied my liner, lashes, mascara, lipstick all um, off camera. Here is the finished look. I hope you really enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Um, have a wonderful day. Bye. So with strip lashes, it's really intimidating. I know the first time that I tried to put on lashes, um, it was terrible.